is Mechanical Music Radio. Music Radio.
It's now 9 o'clock, 2100 hours GMT. Broadcasting from our studios in the UK. Heard around the world. Automatic musical instruments. On app, on Alexa speakers and online. Tuesday Night Live. With James Dundon. Well, good evening. A horrible spot of winter weather outside. Uh, My porch, the bucket that's on the floor in the porch, half full already today. So that's, uh, yes, that's the rain gauge. That's what we go by, the bucket in my porch. Um, Tonight, uh, a real treat for you as we go behind the scenes at a museum that maybe you've never visited before. Pipes in the Peaks in Ashbourne. It's been open for just over 20 years. Not just the Compton Theatre organ with its additional extras. I call it a souped-up Com- Compton because there's so many different things to learn about it, including a Decapa Rentals drum kit, which plays along with it. We'll tell you all about it. But also, they do have a few mechanical music instruments within, including a 105 key Decap, which we're going to open the show with tonight. Enjoy. <laughs> Fantastic. Up and running with the pipes in the peaks to cap. It's a 105 key extra special model. You can see a picture of it on our social media. If you have a search for Mechanical Music Radio and also the other photo you'll see on there is of Christian Cartwright. And here's the guy that's going to be joining us on the phone to tell us all about pipes in the peaks within the next 20 minutes or so. First, though, uh, let's get into tonight's Tuesday talking point and the simple question we've asked you on our social media is what organ do you love the most? And this is kind of inspired by Valentine's Day yesterday. (laughs) So what organ, what instrument do you love the most? Alan Ragsdale said always had a soft spot for Ted Reed's Marenghi. First saw it in 78, got to play it in 82 and 83, and the love affair began. Uh, Thomas Potter said the uh, Wonderland Chapa. Heard it at Lincoln when I was quite small. It's been my favourite organ ever since. 
Andrew Rota says the ex Irvin's Marenghi looks good and sounds good if Carlsberg did fair organs. What do you reckon, eh? Your favourite instrument, and it can be any type of mechanical music. That's our Tuesday talking point tonight. You can get involved by sending us an email or on our social media. Just search for Mechanical Music Radio. Four songs, but what's the connection? Mechanical Music Radio's Connect Four. A new people tuning into the show every week. So for those new listeners that aren't familiar with what we're about to do, let me explain all. We've got Connect Four. We are going to play you four pieces. Think about the titles. Think about the story that we're telling, the the thing that we're spelling out. Is there a theme? Is there a link? Connect four. All right? When you've worked it out, then send us a text. 07871 Also on our website, mechanicalmusicradio.com, you can click on the contact section and fire off a message. So here we go then. First one is the Chocolate Tango Connect Four. Music Radio's Connect Four.
Woodland Flowers and the Chocolate Tango. And if you were competing for Fastest Finger First tonight, we have already had a correct answer in. So I think it's quite straightforward. If uh, if the penny drops for you, let us know what you think the theme is. Uh, give us a text, give us an email. Track three is Cuddles on the Whirlis of Roadhouse Orchestrian. Music Radio's Connect Four.
So tonight's Connect Four, we played The Chocolate Tango, Woodland Flowers, Cuddles, and I Just Called to Say I Loved You. So what is tonight's connection? What what links those four pieces together? What sort of theme, what sort of link have we got here? Uh, if you think you know, get in touch, because after the 60s medley on the Verbeck Centenary Organ, we will reveal the answer in five minutes. So, yeah, get texting, get emailing. Text the studio now. 07871 221 511 Or email through our website mechanicalmusicradio.com So why do you just renew your insurance policy for your mechanical organ? I suppose there aren't many of us who list paperwork as our hobby. Get a quote from Walker Midgley Insurance Brokers. Our experienced and friendly advisors can sort cover for your organ and ancillary equipment, public liability, and cover for your commercial vehicle or trailer. Call us today on 0114 250 2770. Walker Midgley is part of the Towergate Underwriting Group Limited, who are authorised and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority. Cover is for UK based customers only.
four songs, but what's the connection? Mechanical Music Radio's Connect Four. Right then, these were the pieces we played on tonight's Connect Four. It was a varied mix. Uh, we did the Chocolate Tango, Woodland Flowers, Cuddles, and I just called to say, I love you. And by the way, no Nick Williams will feature this week because uh, he sent this in as a suggestion to me, so instantly disqualified. So who's fastest finger first if it's not Nick? Well, Andrew Rota actually came in with the correct answer, followed by Peter Mackett, and Ben Jackson was third. Michael Clark also getting it bang on. And also we need to say well done to Bill and Claire in the US. Guido, who's got it. Also I need to say hi to Alan Ragsdale, who's listening online to us this evening. Robert and Catherine in Callington. Duncan's listening in Preston and gets it bang on. Um, Bill Warder also uh, getting the correct answer. Apparently Mark Raven's having problems um, getting the contact page to work. If you're having problems getting it to work, uh, then uh, please do message us and let us know. Oh, no, actually, but, you know, we'll we'll work it out. I'm not quite sure. I haven't heard anyone else grumble yet. Nobody sent me a message on Facebook to say that. All very interesting. And uh, Michael Pumphrey uh, says, Is the connection Valentine's Day or things used to ease a guilty conscience? Well, actually, I was just looking for Valentine's Day, but uh, I take your point. (laughs) <laughs> the chocolate tango, woodland flowers, cuddles, and I just called to say I loved you. We've all got guilty consciences. It was a Valentine's Day Connect for. Well done if you got it right, my lover. It's an Alex Orchestrian, the Fascination Waltz. Do you want to hear more waltzes? Do you want to hear more popular pieces like the 60s medley we played a minute ago from the Verbeck Centenary Organ? Well, it's your choice after 10, an hour of your requests. You can get it in the queue now, if you like, to, to be a you know chance of being top of a shop. Mechanicalmusicradio.com, click requests. We'll play those from 10, happy hour from 11, and Glenn Thomas with Mechanical Music Prime Time from midnight to night. Do join us, Mechanical Music Radio, 24 hours a day. Always something different to hear. Uh, our Tuesday talking point, by the way, is organs that you love. And as Jory Bennett messaged me, points out, love is a very strong emotion. But without doubt, the Dassault organ I've owned now for nearly 15 years, only taking it to one event, violins are out of this world. Thank you, Jory. Kevin Chambers says, all three, 
Victory Rhapsody Locomotion. You need a good fuel bill for that, Kevin, but very nice concert organs from McKelder's family. He said also on a smaller scale, to Angelina from Graham Spencer. Johnny Ling thinks George Cushing's 112 keyless car fry, silky and smooth with bite, says Johnny. I like that. And Bo Newton says Ted Reed's 89 key merengue, an amazing sight when I first saw it, made a big impression on me, that's why I built my merengue organ as a tribute. What instrument do you love the most and why? Come on, we're having a bit of a Valentine's love in here. Comment on our social media, search for us on Facebook, Mechanical Music Radio. Mechanical Music Radio's One Second Song. Oh, it's always a challenge to identify the one second song. I wonder how you're going to get on tonight. Have a listen to this. You're going to get three notes. Now, I'll give you a little helping hand. This is the start of a piece of music, and it's played on the ex Jonas Gavioli, now part of the San Filippo collection. So, what is this? If you think you know, get in touch. We'll reveal it at the end of the show. Text the studio now. 07871 221 511 or email through our website mechanicalmusicradio.com Evening all, if you love theatre organs, a couple of places you can hear them. Of course we do our Thursday night theatre organ show, The Organist on Cause, at 8 o'clock. And also Ian Wollstenholm is your lunchtime presenter. He's on from 1300 to 1500 hours every weekday, and as well as the mechanical music you love, he plays a smattering of theatre organs, uh, which I think you'll really enjoy. So Ian Wollstenholm, back with you tomorrow from 1 o'clock, 1300 hours playing stuff like this. This is the Compton Organ at Pipes in the Peaks. It's a collection that we're going to be fe- featuring on the show tonight, Pipes in the Peaks in Ashbourne. And the man at the console that you hear playing this piece, Christian Cartwright, joins us in conversation to tell us more about the collection. After this, our director...
The Theatre Organ, the Compton at Pipes in the Peaks in Ashbourne and the Theatre Organist Christian Cartwright is our special guest on Tuesday Night Live tonight. Hi Christian, thanks for joining us. Oh, good evening James, it's great to be on the show. Lovely to speak. Uh, first of all, tell us, where did it all start, the Pipes in the Peaks? How was the collection formed? Well, um, um, the, the owner, David Thorpe, um, uh, bought the ex-Regal Derby Compton in the late 80s because um, he'd been to uh, Blackpool Tower and the sort of collection decided he always wanted a theatre organ. Uh, so a, a mad purchase, he, he uh, purchased the Compton uh, from um, an owner in Castle Doddington, not too far away from Mashbourne. Uh, that, so the organ arrived in, in the late 80s, and it was, um, well, where do we put it? Um, so uh, Dave um, owns the local gar uh, country garage and uh, built an extension to the garage uh, as a car showroom. And um, over the next 10 years, uh, the Compton was restored and was installed in the car showroom. And that, that's how the collection started. Um, as far as the mechanical instruments and things we've got in the collection, that sort of wasn't planned, really. Like, uh, it just sort of happened. Um, we thought, oh, we want... He was always interested in mechanical instruments, and um, the first one we got was um, an Ampico um, Marshall and Wendell upright uh, piano, and uh, we've just gone on, f on for that, collecting other things over the next 23 years. Fantastic! So the collection keeps growing. Well, look, we're yeah, gonna yeah. we're gonna play a couple of the smaller items from Pipes in the Peaks now. Uh, you'll hear the piano in just a moment. After this, it's a little track on the polyphon. <laughs> Live with James Dundon.
88 note pianola from Pipes in the Peaks, reproducing piano playing a track called Me Too, and before that, the disc polyphon did The Rat Catcher. A Christian, I'm sure, as the theatre organist for, you know, not only plays a console, but then goes around and shows all the mechanical instruments. You've heard these pieces many, many times on the mechanical organs and instruments in the collection. That's, that's true. Um, uh, basically, on the Polyphon, uh, we've got three brand new uh, discs, and those are the ones that get used. We've got a collection of the old, like old discs, but um, this suffers from the usual problem of metal fatigue, so I, I don't use those anymore. Just play the, the three brand new discs we've got. So um, when like, um, we aren't open to the public, uh, I put some of like the more unusual um, uh, rolls and things on the on the piano and the, mm. and the decap. Uh, you can't really have like, um, say, a ten minutes uh, dinner roll playing on on <laughs> on the on the piano. It's too long, so it's got to be like a short, say, like two minutes uh, track. Because yeah. yeah. then you've got then then on to demonstrate the next in- instrument. And what about the one hundred five key to cap? Because I see it's up on the balcony. Is that controlled remotely somehow, where you can turn on the blower and? I'm guessing is there a wheel of music that goes around the back of it and you very rarely get actually go up to it? Or do you have to climb a ladder to go up and feed some books through? Um, we can do it either way. Um, we've got a remote uh, start from, from the mixing desk in, in the room. Uh, but um, quite often um, I start it from, from the actual organ. Um, most of the time we have got uh, an hour's uh, worth of music on 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 the wheel. I love the 105s. I think they really add a bit of atmosphere, a bit of party, oh, isn't it? Do, Background yes. music. Yeah, it's just fun. Oh, they, oh they're brilliant. Uh, see the people dancing around, so it is brilliant. <laughs> well, look, <laughs> we're going to hear a track from the 105 Decap now, and then we're going to speak about the theatre organ, the Compton, which, um, I mean, I said it was souped up because there's several extras in there, not just ranks of pipes, but different percussion effects and other novelties. And we'll get into that in just a minute. And Christian will know all about the theatre organ because obviously that's his bag being the man at the console. So uh, Christian back with us in just a moment on Tuesday Night Live after the 105 key to cap at Pipes in the Peaks. And we've got a boogie woogie medley. Thank you. 
the Pipes and the Peaks collection at Ashbourne. This is where the Fair Organ Preservation Society are going to be holding their AGM this year uh, with the uh, the instruments that you're hearing, the 105 key decap and also the pianola, the disc polyphon and the Compton Theatre organ. And we've got the man at the console to tell us a little bit more about the collection this evening. We've been speaking to a Christian Cartwright Christian, tell me about the Compton, because you, you've had it there at the collection for 22 years. There's been several additions. It's been greatly expanded. Tell me about some of the extra things that have been added on. Well, yeah. So it, it, the organ base it was one of the Compton small ones. It was just a three, uh, three manual, six rank organ uh, with melatonin and... Since then, it's grown to 18 ranks. Um, it's, um, it lost its original melatonin in, when it was removed from the theatre in 1965, but uh, luckily we managed to get an identical unit to replace, th- replace that. And we've also got uh, one of Compton's um, very rare um, inventions called a solo cello. Um, as far as I know, they only made 20 of these devices. Um there's only about three left, uh, but I think ours is probably one of the only fully working ones. And I was amazed to see as well, you did a a, a, a video of your bird whistles. Um, so the birds are there tweeting away and you can see the, the little fake birds on the end of sticks sort of dangling and going up and down as you press the keys on the console. But these are actual metal pipes sitting in a bath of water, aren't they? And it sort of gives that sort of bird sound. Yeah, that, that's correct. Uh, yeah, uh, so um, in I think it was 1928, the first set of that, those was made for the Christie organ, which used to be housed in the Regal Marble Arch. Um, so, so we we made this unit. Uh, so it's eight, 18 notes. So the the pipes are all pre-tuned. So you can't tune them, um, and they, they do sit in a bowl of water. And it's critical the angle and the depth the pipe sits into the bowl of water for how well the you get the bird chirp sound, <laughs> and w- when when you play the appropriate uh, notes, the the bird jumps up and down as well. Yeah, it's fantastic. Um, and also, because I I messaged you about this because I was looking at the stage beside you on the console, and there's a drum kit there, and I'm thinking that looks like a Decapa Rentals drum kit because they they make those widely and famously not just on their dance organs but as separate units, but without the LED lighting and all the logos and the the sort of flashy bits that they put on these things normally. I thought, no, it can't possibly be. It just didn't look like one, but it is. It's it's one that you commissioned a cap to make to play along with the theatre organ. How does that work? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's correct. Um, oh, it's about well, twelve years ago. Um, we visited uh, the Capa Rentals and uh, uh, we came up with a custom-made design for what we wanted because I wanted lots of symbols on that unit. Um, because I'm big into symbols, uh, the Compton's got lots of symbols on it. Um, <clears throat> so there's two ways of controlling uh, the drum kit. So uh, actually on the console, we've got the, the standard uh, decap PDA unit for playing MIDI files. But also a, we put onto the side of uh, the, the bench of uh, the Compton, we put um, what's called a boss uh, doctor, and that's enables the drum kit to be used when we have visiting organists as they can use it. Oh, so it's like a rhythm track that you set off yeah. and then you, you sort of jam along with yeah. it? Yeah, yes, that's correct. It's just playing standard, say, four-bar patterns. Just just means the guest organist can use uh, the, the drum kit. And here's an example of how it sounds with the Compton organ from Pipes in the Peaks. It's Fly Me to the Moon.
There you go, the Compton from Pipes in the Peaks, Fly Me to the Moon. Also, I think you've you've got this digital theatre organ, which is quite an impressive beast because it's got like five manuals, doesn't it? Yes. Uh, so, um, uh, just uh, at the beginning of 2020, um, uh, this five manual virtual organ arrived. So, not um, so none of our um, um, customers who come to our concerts have actually ever seen this yet. So, uh, so that's going to be a big surprise. So, so we're just in the process of uh, doing the cosmetic restoration of the console, which uh, we're on the final stages of. Um, but it's, it's been it's been playing for the past uh, up two years. It's quite. It's very impressive. Um, at times, you'd hardly know it from the real, um, the real organ. Really. It's it's just incredible. And we put lots of speakers on it. Um, there's quite a lot of which are ha- actually housed behind the the decap organ on the balcony. Right. So that's, that's something for our audience to look forward to uh, seeing. All right. Well, um, the first chance to see it will be the Fair Organ Preservation Society AGM. They're holding theirs uh, this year at Pipes in the Peaks on the 2nd of April 2022. I think that's going to be the first time you'll open your doors uh, to strangers uh, since the beginning of the pandemic. Yes, that's correct. Um, um, And our first uh, public concert will be on Sunday, the 1st of March, um, and it's our 23rd anniversary duet show. So um, so it'll be uh, myself and... um, uh, our other resident organist, Stephen Fawkes, uh, who's who's been um, a resident organist since the venue opened um, uh, 23 years ago. So mm. that's going to be great fun. Uh, we're going to do some duets uh, with the Compton and, and the Five Manual Virtual Organ. Yeah, it'll be worth going to that Sunday, the 1st of May, 2.30 in the afternoon, the 23rd anniversary duet show with Christian and Stephen. And then other guest organists in June, you've got Phil Coulsall, and in uh, September, Robert Wolf will be at the Compton. They've also got last night of the proms and Christmas events advertised too. You can see details on their Facebook page, Pipes in the Peaks, or their website. Christian, look, thank you for joining us uh, this evening. It's, it's been great to catch up and find out more about the collection, Pipes in the Peaks. We look forward to seeing you soon. Yeah, it's been great to catch up, uh, James. Mechanical Music Radio's One Second Song. Right, final bit of show on the business to reveal what this is. Uh, Fastest finger first, identifying the tune was Peter Mackey. He's got it. Ben Jackson was second. Johnny Ling from the Grange Collection, third. Also need to say hi to Alan Ragsdale, who gets it bang on. Well done to Mike Green. Michael Clark in Leeds also gave us a message. Bill Warder has also got the one second song. Well done, Bill. Also, Paul Rogers. Hi to Luke Stanland. Nice to hear from you. And many more. Uh, Did you get... I mean, if I played you a little bit more... Yeah. Yes. Yes, sir. That's my baby. And it's the Jonas Gavioli that plays us out tonight.
Jonas Gavioli, and yes, sir, that's my baby, was our one second song. I wish you a pleasant evening and stay tuned. Request next after 10, happy hour after 11. And Glenn Thomas, live and direct from the USA, he's on from midnight in a couple of hours from now. Thanks to my guest, Christian Cartwright. You can listen again to the full episode. We'll upload it shortly on our podcast at mechanicalmusicradio.com. Tell your friends, and I'll see you next Tuesday Night Live. It's now 10 o'clock, 2200 hours GMT.